The morning after a dramatic general election, plenty of twists and turns. All through the night, millions of Ghanaians were regaled with the drama. First, the ruling NDC asked people to disregard provisional results being broadcast online, saying it was in a comfortable lead. Hours later, the NPP responded. I think it's about time that we call upon our opponents to concede our Outside the home of the NPP flag bearer, people watched with Trump. Many of them supporters barely hide their delight. Oh, my expectations are, you know, you could see clear that he has won the election. And, I mean, that is it. There's nothing I can talk about again. He has won. And from all indications, we can see that the new patriotic party is really leading. And I really think he, he has won already. So... That's the expectation. So. And then the Electoral Commission hurriedly tried to counter the NPP's premature victory speech. The Electoral Commission of Ghana is in full control of the electoral process as we have been from the start of the electoral cycle. We are taking all the necessary steps to ensure that the results that will be announced by the Electoral Commission of Ghana would be a true reflection of the choice of the people of this country. But even the Electoral Commission faced huge embarrassment when its site was knocked off for at least four hours. And so here we are at the home of the standard bearer of the new patriotic party, Nana Dankwa Kufuradur. So we wait patiently to see if he will respond to comments from the Electoral Commission that it needs at least a week to sort out issues with electoral votes before a final announcement can be made on who won Saturday's election. But then, Nana Akufo Addo won't address the media. Minutes later, there were 10 scenes in the headquarters of the NPP after the Electoral Commission delayed the announcement of results, saying it would wait for 24 hours. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the Electoral Commission, ballot boxes continue to pour in, everyone waiting for the Commission to begin the official announcement of results. Heavily guarded headquarters of the Electoral Commission in Ghana as we count down the hours to the announcement of the final results following elections on Wednesday. This was supposed to be the litmus test if it will succeed, but then patience is wearing thin on the streets and people expect a decision to be made. The Electoral Commission says it will stick by its plan by announcing the results within 72 hours. So the hours begin to count. From the Electoral Commission office in Accra, Ghana, our Obo, STV News.